Welcome to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection since 1991. I'm Linda Karnowskis, and we want to welcome you this beautiful Wednesday on April 27th. We have an informative show for you. We're going to be visiting with Deb Gillard and Kristen Surdy first thing this morning, and we're going to talk to them about the Engage for Life Senior and Caregivers Expo. And then later on, we'll be on location at Masters Bar and Grill at, at the Brook Tree Golf Course. So you want to stay with us. And to our Owatonna uh, viewers, we and our guests, we would appreciate your comments uh, for topics and, and uh, guests. And you can do so by emailing us at owatonnatoday at charter.net or by contacting our show's producer, Leanne Alt, at 390-5751. We will take a short break to hear a word from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with Deb and Kristen and hear all about the Expo. So please stay with us. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Recreational fires are allowed within the Oatana city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. Only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Hello, I'm David Einhaus with the Oatana Foundation. Thank you to all of our donors who have helped make Oatana a better place to live. Will you join us today with a financial gift? Oatana Foundation is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I'm Shannon and I play the Cheshire Cat. And I'm Whitney and I play the Red Queen in LTO's Curtain production of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, directed by Sandy Hardy Hagen and sponsored by Federated Insurance. Performances of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland will be held Friday and Saturday, April 29th and 30th at 7.30 p.m. with the matinee on Sunday, May 1st at 2 p.m. And again, the following Thursday through Saturday, May 5th, 6th, and 7th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764 or online at littletheaterofortana.org. Don't, Don't miss, miss LTO's, LTO's production, production of Alice's, Alice's Adventures, Adventures in Wonderland. Wonderland. Welcome back to the Oatana Today Show, your community connection. And we're here talking about the Engaged <coughs> for Life Senior and Caregivers Expo with our very own Deb Gillard and Kristen Surdy. Hi ladies, welcome Hi. to the show. Hi, thanks I'm for having you, Linda. Linda. I'm so excited to hear all about the good care you're giving the seniors in our community and we have some of the best seniors and we have a lot of them. We have a, we lot. Have a lot of them. And we have a successful senior place but yes. we want to focus on the expo. Right, you do. So why don't you tell a little bit about yourselves, introduce yourselves. Um, just briefly for the purposes of being here on the show too, I'm Deb Gillard and I work with Brookdale Senior Living which is a small assisted living care community and a, a small memory care community here in town. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, and that has me on the committee, um, which is called the Senior Alliance of Steele County. And I will actually let Kristen talk yes. a little bit more about you know, who she is right. and then what our committee does. Sure. Right. So Kristen, and introduce yourself yes. to our viewers and, okay. and what you've been involved in here. I'm Kristen Surdy. I'm an RN. I'm the Director of Nursing and the Facility Administrator for Valley View Assisted Living here in Owatonna. I've been there for a little over three years, so really gotten to know um, you know, our seniors and, and our different needs in the community. It's been a fun experience. Okay. And uh, Kristen, why don't you explain to our viewers, there's the Senior Alliance of Steele County, but that uh -huh. once was something else. Right. At one time, we were the EARN Committee, or the Elderly Advisory Resource Network. Uh, very similar to what we are right now. Uh, we used to be under the umbrella of Senior Place here in Owatonna. We branched off about two years ago. Uh, but it's a, it's a really fun uh, volunteer committee. Um, it's, it's folks like Deb and myself, um, healthcare professionals um, in the community. Um, we do all kinds of different events throughout the year. Um, but most of it is planning our annual Senior Expo. So you're planning the Senior Expo. Uh, what is your vision? 
Well, we're, we're trying to help uh, anybody over 50, basically, trying to um, look at the different resources in the area for seniors, uh, both whether you're uh, a patient, whether you're maybe somebody who's at home uh, taking care of a loved one. You know, we're trying to show you that there's all kinds of things out there. Deb can probably say, put it into mm -hmm. a little bit different words. Right. Uh, maybe you want to touch on, Deb, what the mission is. To our viewers. Oh, our actual, you know, it's kind of legal when we get into our mission and vision, but um, actually our committee mission is to advocate, educate, and support seniors and caregivers in our community. We partner and collaborate with agencies and organizations specializing in the care of persons 55 and older. And then our vision is really, as mission and vision statements go, takes off on that to support seniors and caregivers in our community mm -hmm. through awareness and education, networking of agencies and collaboration of services. So as Kristen mm -hmm. was saying, we get together and network every month um, mm -hmm. and meet so that we know each other, we know what each other does, we're able to mm -hmm. um, provide referrals back and forth and mm -hmm. we really know what's going on in the mm -hmm. community. And then really our primary, really yep. our impetus or our big focus in the year is then to put on this event. Right. Okay. And when is, uh, let's just touch briefly, when is the expo and, and um, uh, Kristen, or Kristen? Yes. Kristen, when yes. is the expo? And it's and a week from today. Okay. Um, okay, so it's um, next Wednesday and it's May 4th. Um, our hours are 9 in the morning till 1 o'clock. Um, Trinity Lutheran Church here in town. We used to at one time have it at the Four Seasons building. So many people who went years ago knew it was always there. It's the same type of event. We just moved it last year to Trinity Lutheran, which is a great, great place mm -hmm. for this expo. Alrighty, and we were talking about everything that's going to be at the, at the expo mm -hmm. and the different There's things. What are some of the uh, resources that are gonna be there? Krista? Well, we have all kinds of different uh, folks, kind of like ourselves, um, different assisted livings. We've got different services, um, everything, even funeral home. Mm -hmm. um, so y you could come out and you'd be surprised at all the different services that you might need, um, things that you'll see that you think, boy, I never even thought about that for my mom or dad. There's a lot of people that we know uh, taking care of loved ones at home and want to keep them in the home setting. And there's plenty of uh, different resources that you'll see at the expo mm -hmm. that could make your life easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Deb, you're, you encourage everyone 50 or over or even younger mm -hmm. to come? Definitely. We, it, it, the, we call the event designed for anyone 50 and over because so many of us in that particular age group and above are either seniors with some of those needs or um, we may be caring for someone or helping them through that journey. Uh, but certainly we've seen many younger than that. And I think Kristen mm -hmm. and I, through our work in the senior yeah. living um, arena find that we have sometimes nieces, nephews, mm -hmm. grand nieces, grand nephews, um, you know, uh, younger, younger people yep. that are helping their, maybe their grandparent through the through a transition like what we're talking about and, mm -hmm. and needing some of those resources. So it's really, we encourage anyone who would like to get information kind of all in mm -hmm. one place yep. um, to join us and, and come and see what, as she mentioned, come and see what you can find because the, the resources there are really quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Mobility aids, yep. um, transportation, home health, yep. Uh, just all sorts of things that you can think about um, in regards to helping our so seniors. So you're really, you're really encouraging uh, anybody of mm -hmm. any age sure. that's caring right. for somebody. Oh, very much. That, or, or starting to see differences. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. In their, yes. in their, the people they watch mm -hmm. over, whether it's parents, right. aunts, and right. uncles, they're starting exactly. to see differences, mm -hmm. and they want mm -hmm. to be, maybe become prepared. Sure. So sure. that they have. Uh, you know, an action mm -hmm. plan. Right. And, and we are all about being prepared. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, you might have, um, say, an elderly couple that lives in their home and mm -hmm. they know that the time mm -hmm. is coming soon, that mm -hmm. maybe they, you know, don't want to live at home, maybe they'd rather enjoy things like an assisted living where everything's taken care of for you and they don't have mm -hmm. to worry about that. So I think there's a lot of people that come out um, just to see what's out there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that expo might be a nice way to invite the person. Right say, I'd love to take you to yes. lunch and yep. we're going to go Let's see go this see expo. This. They have yep. a lot yeah. of, I'm interested yeah. in going. Yeah. Yeah. I want to learn about right. it. Good. Right. And, I'd and love to see you. And you would, right. mm -hmm. they would come and, sure. yep. and, and, and learn and maybe that would be a good way to introduce yep. what's, sure. what's available sure. to us sure. in this community. So. Right. so we have a lot that, that are just what we call exhibit vendors. Um, they're going to be your typical vendor with a booth and information and a lot of opportunity to talk right. back and forth and provide that information. Mm -hmm. Some of them that do screenings. Mm -hmm. um, so blood pressure checks. I, I think we have a pharmacy with a brown bag yes. review. So if you want to come in and thing. have the pharmacist look at your prescriptions for interactions. Wow. I think there's a body mm -hmm. fat analysis. Anyway, we call those our screenings. We mm -hmm. also have several demonstrations. Yep. Demos are new since last year when we, uh, when we put it, when we had it at Trinity yep. um, as the Engaged for Life event, we had added demonstrations. So mm -hmm. in order of how they go that morning, mm -hmm. 
Um, at 9.30, uh, Brookdale Owatonna, that would be me, and uh, my associates will be talking about bringing new life to senior living. So we'll not only be there talking about some of the things that we do at Brookdale, but also hopefully providing some resources that people can take home with them. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. some things that will help um, in a memory care situation where right. someone is caring for a right. loved one with dementia. That's at 9.30. At 10 mm -hmm. o'clock, and so they're, they're alternating between two separate locations, so somebody mm -hmm. can actually do all of these yeah. <laughs> if they want to. Isles Online, hi V, who is, by the way, our major sponsor with mm -hmm. us and we thank them so much for joining mm -hmm. us in this. Um, we'll be presenting their Isles Online program, um, which is shopping online, mm -hmm. at home, getting the items delivered or having someone pick them up and it's proving to be a wonderful a resource yep. for seniors yep. and their caregivers to be able to do that um, and have that shopping all done and, and they'll be telling you more about that and that's at 10 o'clock. Um, enhancing better health with reflexology. Claudia Jones mm -hmm. is a local reflexologist and so she'll be there talking about how that can enhance uh, maybe our caregivers who are going through some stress but also seniors and how mm -hmm. that can play into their better mm -hmm. health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then at 11 o'clock is our final actual demo and that's the LSVT Big and Loud. It's a specialized therapy program for those with Parkinson's mm -hmm. and it is uh, put on by the Courage Kenny Rehabil Rehabilitation Institute. Mm -hmm. um, if, if you know or are aware of anyone with Parkinson's, a lot of times the voice is one thing that gets softer, mm -hmm. movements get a little more um, contained and maybe shuffling and what the Big and Loud program, from what I understand mm -hmm. it, I think it's a great program, mm -hmm. intends to do is, is help, help those vocal, you know, help train your vocal mm -hmm. um, range so that you can continue to communicate better mm -hmm. and make those movements big again and so that um, hopefully you're kind of keeping Parkinson's from yeah. um, from limiting some yeah. of those things as you go. Yeah. Our keynote speaker then is at noon. Now our expo portion, our exhibits will remain open at noon mm -hmm. in the fellowship hall um, so people can continue to go to that but if they have a desire to go to our speaker it is Dr. Simon Middle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will know him here from locally. He used mm -hmm. to be in our our health system locally. Yep. He is now with LTC Professionals, which is long-term care professionals, um, and has also helped his own father navigate through this journey of um, finding care and good health services um, for him. And so he'll be with us, and we the, the title of the program is called Moments of Life, End of Life Conversations, but he'll be talking about a lot of things leading up to that. You know, as you alluded to, mm -hmm. how do we see signs? What do we do when we see those? What are the important conversations we need mm -hmm. to be having, both mm -hmm. uh, medically, uh, legally, how do we as seniors communicate what's important to us and how do we as their loved ones also help them communicate mm -hmm. that to us? In a nutshell, um, he'll be talking a lot more about that and he's uh, just an excellent resource. Mm -hmm. We're very pleased mm -hmm. to have Dr. Middle with us this year. You also are going to have, uh, through uh, relating surveys or questioning of, of participants in mm -hmm. the past, you're going to be adding some new things or different since last year. Yep, actually mm -hmm. we have, um, and this is not anything to do with us, but Trinity mm -hmm. has added in their parking lot, mm -hmm. um, because it's a big and growing congregation, they've added some more handicap uh, mm -hmm. St uh, parking places, mm -hmm. so that will help this year. Um, last year we were not able to pull this together, but we this year do have a golf cart shuttle. So if those individ some individuals are parked further out in the parking lot, we'll have a shuttle to bring mm -hmm. them in. And also, if people will remember it from last year, we did have people going upstairs for some of the screenings and demos. We're not doing that this year. We've kept everything limited to the main floor. Okay, again. It's going to be happening a week from today. Yep, correct. Uh, May 4th, yes. time and yes. place. Yep, 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. Uh, keynote speakers from 12 to 1, and it's at Trinity Lutheran Church here in Owatonna. 609 Lincoln Avenue South. And if they have any questions, I know uh, Leanne put my contact information there. Feel free to yep. give me a call and I'll try to answer any questions. That Thanks for has. sharing, lady. Look Thanks, Kristen. Sure. Thank Looking you. Forward Thank to you. It. It'll be a good time. <laughs> yep. We will take a short break to hear a word from our sponsors and then we'll be on location at Masters Barn Grill at the Brook Tree Golf Course. Please stay with us. Hi, my name is Ryan Gillespie with Bremer Bank Mortgage. By trusting your home loan needs to Bremer Bank, you are guaranteed a personalized, straightforward, and honest experience from application to closing. We look forward to guiding you through your next home purchase or refinance. I didn't just want another job, I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself, and they helped find the right career for me. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. I'm Bill Owens with the Owatonna Business Incubator. 
Whether your business is just starting out or is expanding, we have the office space and manufacturing space that you need. As the Small Business Counseling Center for this region, we are able to help you in your expansion or your startup of your business. We are a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Hi, I'm Tim Anderson, the owner of Anytime Fitness, where we make getting healthy, affordable, and convenient. Anytime Fitness is a proud sponsor of the Oatana Today Show. Welcome back to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection. And we're located down at the Brook Tree Golf Course, and we're here in the clubhouse at the owner chef, talking with the owner chef, Tim Cockrum, here at Masters Barn Grill. Welcome, Tim. Thank you. So, you've been open how long now? Uh, we've been open one week, okay. so we've been open one week so far. So you're a very busy man. We're very busy. <laughs> let's, let's share a little bit about the man to our viewers. Why don't you share with our viewers a little bit about yourself and sure. your, what's involved? So uh, my background, uh, I'm uh, pretty much not born but raised in Owatonna. I've graduated high school here, uh, have uh, had the love for restaurants and food and have worked at some different uh, golf courses and uh, have really enjoyed it and now it's time to bring myself back to Owatonna and start my own uh, my own restaurant here which we're very excited about. Now we say chef operator but that's not said lightly. Yeah. You you went to school to become a chef. You've learned with some of the best. Why don't you share where you went and what you learned a little bit. Yeah, so my journey has taken me to be involved with the American Culinary Federation. Uh, they are a worldwide organization and they really help support uh, the professional craft of culinary enthusiasts and chefs all across the world. Uh, so I've had the uh, opportunity to work with uh, many different chefs that wear many different hats. Uh, everything from, uh, you know, different uh, you know, higher end restaurants to private country clubs and many different avenues. So I've learned a lot along the way and I'm excited to bring some of that to Owatonna. And your education to become a chef was done where? Yes, so I graduated Le Cordon Bleu Culinary School and I did do an externship at, uh, in Rochester, Minnesota at the Radisson and uh, really got my, uh, my first uh, liking of what the, uh, the busy kitchen world uh, was, was, is like. So. And I have to say, I've been to a few events where you, you have been the chef, and it was delicious. It Thank really you. was. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Yeah. So back to Master's Bar and Grill. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us? How did you acquire this space? Should you tell the story yeah, behind so that? Funny, funny story. I kind of started uh, Owatonna Catering uh, to have a, uh, a little small part-time job with my daughter and uh, get her uh, you know, college money like every other kid needs going through high school. And... Uh, you know, after a few days of, of actually having my uh, LLC arrive in the mail, uh, I was kind of informed that nobody has put a bid in on uh, the Brook Tree Golf Course to operate the clubhouse. Uh, so I, uh, somebody told me, hey, would you be interested in this? So I did, uh, I did pursue this and uh, it went very well. I felt very comfortable with the city. Uh, many golf courses do contract out. Uh, so this is our first uh, kind of step into uh, contract management. Uh, but uh, I'm very familiar with golf clubs. I've been working in golf courses and clubhouses for over 11 years. Uh, so I know what it takes to operate a, a golf course. So it's a lot of consistency uh, in, in treating people right and, and, and a lot of care involved. I've already heard the words out. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> good. But why don't you share with our viewers about your menu and how did you decide what to put on the menu? Yes, good question. So uh, something that's very important to me is local. And uh, we like to provide uh, and, and really utilize the local uh, talents that we have of our staff that we have on board and then also the foods that people produce. So uh, we do get our chicken from Larry Schultz Chicken Farm in Owatonna. So we do have organic chicken. Uh, we do have, uh, we get all our cheeses um, from uh, Fairbolt, uh, from the Blue Cheese Caves. Uh, years ago, I was uh, privy to uh, seeing the underground cave of Fairbolt. Uh, <laughs> so they let a few sh uh, chefs sneak in. Um, so I was very excited to uh, be able to see that and ever since then I've been hooked on some of their cheeses so uh, but the menu is really derived from 
uh, the kitchen space. It is a pretty small kitchen space. Uh, so we are doing a lot in a little space. We do make uh, fresh fettuccine every day, uh, you know, with our own fresh herbs that we chop up. Uh, we use, uh, make our own meatballs. We do a lot of stuff from scratch and we really take uh, a lot of pride and quality in, in the food we produce. And you say we, you, you have how many sous chefs back there? Yeah, so I do have two sous chefs. I do have an AM sous chef, uh, Todd Anderson, who has uh, been around the culinary uh, arena for a little bit. And he, is, uh, he will be in charge of all our outside catering op uh, events. And uh, I do have Josh Bourne, who's my head chef for uh, Masters Bar and Grill. Uh, and he has worked for me, or with me, I should say, for uh, uh, probably about eight years total. So he's been uh, in, my, in, my, uh, in my right hand, always kind of training him up to, uh, to become, uh, get to this level. So. Now, you mentioned you do local sourcing. Yes. And also, you have organic items on your menu. Maybe you'd like to share a little bit about that. Yeah. So, um, you know, really, if you ever go out to Larry Schultz and their little, uh, their little shop out there, they do a great job. And they're so passionate about what they do. And I really appreciate that. Um, you know, good sourced food. Um, they take care of where it comes from. You know, we always have little jokes about Larry and his pet chickens, but you know, he, uh, he has a big farm and, and he does a great job and they're great people out there. So we're very excited to, uh, to partner with them and being able to offer, um, uh, you know, local food is important to us. You know, it, it, it usually costs a little more, um, but we feel it tastes better and we feel it's better products and we like to stand behind what we think is most important and one of our values. Well, you certainly have a very interesting menu and uh, high end, I might add. Sure. I, a little, not high end price wise, but yep. quality. Just quality. Sure. Very good quality. And why don't you explain like one of the items that you'll be offering? Yes. Um, so, uh, one of my uh, favorite items uh, that we'll be uh, looking at possibly later is our fresh smoked salmon. So, uh, we do get our salmon uh, deliveries throughout the week. Uh, it is not farm raised, it is fresh from the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, and we actually uh, cut out the portions for our uh, dinner uh, entree portion, which comes with a blood orange sauce, which is delicious. Um, and then we also um, have the uh, salmon that we smoke in our little appetizer, which is absolutely delicious. Well, you offered. We'd love to. Okay. We'd love to try and, yeah. and meet some more of your your staff if we could. Yeah. Let's try some of the goodies. Sounds good. Okay. Look forward to having that. So Tim, is this one of your appetizers or what do you call it, chip shots? Yes, this is one of our <laughs> chip shots. So a lot of our golf or a lot of our menu is golf themed, obviously enjoying this round. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it. So uh, this is one of our chip shots. Uh, this is actually our live smoked salmon. So we call it a live smoked salmon because this is uh, that salmon that we get in uh, from the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, we make a great salmon salad. It has some uh, lemon juice and some mayonnaise and some of our special spices and herbs in there. And, uh, and what we do is we actually blow a uh, mesquite smoke into the glass. Wow. So if you can see the smoke's kind of uh, infusing into our salmon salad. And then we serve it with some of our pita points and some fresh lemon. Wow, that's, that really looks great. And you can really see the smoke doing its work. We have over here your service manager, Anna. And say your last name for us. Ruprecht. Okay, because I did not want to botch that. That's okay. <laughs> and Anna, what did you bring for us over here? I brought one of our signature beverages. Mm. And it's our lemon cloud martini. And it's our lemon cloud martini. Mm. And it's served with cotton candy with a sugared rim. Could you show us how that's blended? Yes, certainly. It comes out just like this to your table. And we just take it right to the table and we pour the martini right over top of it. It melts right in, gives it a nice sweet flavor. With wow. The, we use an absolute Citron with that. Wow, that looks great. And it's an absolute Patron, which is a... Citron is a, excuse me, absolute Citron is a vodka. Okay. Wow, it looks delightful. <laughs> <laughs> and you so... Can try some later. Excuse me? You can try some later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off the box. <laughs> so, t Tim, what are some other uh, appetizers and things that you're going to be offering uh, along with these? Yeah, this. so uh, one of our uh, more popular dishes is our chicken and meatballs. So it's, uh, we get ground chicken from uh, Larry Schultz, again, in Owatonna. And uh, we make our homemade meatball with peppers and onions and garlic. Uh, and... Uh, and it's delicious. It's, you know, there's so many towns and rest, or so many restaurants in town that serve boneless wings. 
you know, we're not going to be one of those restaurants. We do things a little different out here. So uh, we have our own roasted red pepper sauce that we make from scratch out here. It's got a little bit of kick from some crushed red pepper. And then we take actually a frozen uh, St. Pete's uh, Blue Select cheese from Fairbolt and we microplane or grate that over the top. So uh, I've, uh, I've converted some uh, non-blue cheese lovers to uh, liking blue cheese. So uh, we win one person at a time with something maybe new they haven't tried before. Uh, but the combination and those two are very special. So. And you want to invite everyone to enjoy this. I know that because you're here at the club, it's for golfers, but it's sure. open to anybody, correct? We're definitely open to the public and our hours of operation are, we are open seven days a week and we are open 11 to nine every day for food service. Sunday too? Sunday too, so Sunday afternoons when you're looking for a great patio space or, uh, or just looking for a clubhouse, a new, a new environment, please come out and join us. And you take credit card, all, all of those things? We take things. credit card cash. Okay, and, yeah. you're here at the beautiful, beautiful golf course. Yes. <laughs> uh, one other question quick I had had, do you accept parties? We do. Uh, we do limited uh, parties, uh, usually about up to 20 uh, is about the largest size that we'll be able to uh, support in here. So. Well, thank you for all the wonderful food and, and letting us see your beautiful place. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good. Thank you. We will take a quick break to hear a message from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back. So please stay with us. from Sign Pro and Auto Trim Design, a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. Come and see us for all your sign and truck accessory needs. Welcome back to the Otana Today Show, your community connection. And it's that time for community announcements. We have the 2016 Family Festival happening Thursday, April 28th, 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Willow Creek Intermediate School, 1050 22nd Street Northeast. No registration is necessary, and this event is free. For more information, call 444-7900, Community Education at Roosevelt Community School. LTO's uh, Alice Adventures in Wonderland will open uh, April 29th and 30th, May 5th, 6th, and 7th at 7.30 p.m., and there will be a matinee on May 1st at 2 p.m. The LTO box office opens on Monday, April 25th, so you'll want to be sure and get your tickets. Good Shepherd Church is holding a supper and variety show on Saturday, April 30th. The Hot Dog and Toppings Buffet Supper will be at 5.30 with the variety show beginning at 6.30 p.m. Proceeds from this fundraiser will be used to finish the gathering area. The church is located at 2500 7th Avenue Northeast. Tickets are available at the church office. They're $6 if you get them in advance, and if you get them at the door, they're 7 so you may not want to miss that either. And auditions for LTO Summer Play Greece will be held from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, April 30th, and Tuesday, May 3rd, from 6 to 9 p.m. at the LTO stage, Merrill Hall, West Hills Complex. For more information, call Director Craig Berg, 507-676-0098. And May 2nd is the deadline date to submit nominations to the Steele County Livestock Hall of Fame. Inductions of the Hall of Fame inductees will take place on Tuesday afternoon, August 16th at the Steele County Fair. Nomination forms are available at the fair office or on the fair website, www.scff.org. And the Owatonna Arts Center will host the 64th annual Steele County Art Exhi Exhibition in May. All artists 18 years or older or residents of Steele County or members of the Arts Center are eligible to exhibit their artworks. Artist applications will be available at the Arts Center during regular business hours, 1 to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday, and all applications must be received by May 3rd. 
Well, we want to thank you for joining us today, and we hope you'll tune in on Friday when our guest will be Chris Busey. We'll get an update from our city administrator, and then we'll be on a little walking architectural tour of Owatonna with Nancy Valencourt. So you'll want to join us then, and until then, have a good day.